right, so it's Saturday. Today is the day that I go to, that I, I take off tonight. So I'm, I'm getting stuff ready. I'm gonna go to the church, do a little bit more painting. We're going with that. And that was what I was about to say, and I'm taking the brats with me. Uh. Flight's at seven something, so I'll leave my house around five and uh, fly out to Cali, get there by, no, I, I know it's not Cali. I, I have four students and their parents already out there and I will be leaving with two more students and their parents. We'll get there around 11.30 because of the time change tonight. I'm assuming probably go to bed relatively soon. What if daddy dies on a plane crash? Stop, what, you did that yesterday. Why does he always do what was that? Lily, are you excited daddy's leaving for a week? 50-50. What? <laughs> Why are you excited that I'm leaving? Well, ah! me and mommy. Hold on, I dropped the camera. Okay, why are you mommy, excited? Jude and I'll always do something fun with you. We're going really quick. We run by 7-Eleven. I'm gonna grab some uh, rock stars real quick. Make sure I have plenty of caffeine for the day. I don't wanna fall asleep on the plane. Couple more errands. I just got back from painting. I painted for an hour. Still not done. I was supposed to be done before we left. Oh well. Uh, I knew that wasn't gonna happen. So right now I got to take these two letters to the post office and mail. They are letters for our mothers. The kids are waving by because it will be their birthday. I'm gone. All right. Uh, my phone just switched over to playing some Daily V. That's why it stopped there. I don't know how much of that it recorded or not. But anyways. So, go mail those, and then I'm gonna go buy Wawa and get some snacks for the flight and for the trip. That was probably the longest I've ever waited in line for there. There was a huge line. It was kind of crazy. I'm in Wawa. It's time to get some snacks. All right, we are headed to the park. I got two hours two hours before I fly out. Well, I got like four, what? Um, I got like four, four and a half hours before I fly out. But you're supposed to be there early and all that, so my plan is to leave around five. I'm going to just take a lift, which is ironic that I've been driving lift for, I've got like 100 and almost 140 lift drives, but I've never actually taken a lift or an Uber. So I was gonna walk, cause the airport's just like, like three or four blocks that way. But then I was like, you know what? I'll take a lift and see what it's like using the lift. And it's like four bucks. So there's that. And then we're gonna, we wanna do something as a family. And we don't wanna just sit around and use the rest of our time sitting around. So we're gonna go to the park for, I don't know, like a half hour or so, hang out, come back home, grab my stuff. I don't want the lift driver to know I'm gone for a week and where I live. So I'm gonna like walk down to the Wawa and uh, get a lift, so. Yep, and then I'll be getting a flight. We'll see how much of that I can get. I know some of it I can, some of it I can't. I'll try to get some of the flight stuff so I can feel like Gary and Casey and Sean. Yeah, and on the way back, it's gonna be so cool. I'm gonna get to say, oh, catching a red eye. I'm gonna feel so, so legit. I'm gonna feel like Gary Vaynerchuk, you know, always talking about catching a red eye. So, all right guys, peace out. <laughs> Thank you. 
Another rock? Tell them what you're doing. Rock hunting! Judah, can we please try no. your pink and blue? No. It's the most rocks they've ever found. We're at uh, Dory Park. This isn't even one of the main ones, but it looks like, judging off of the painting and then also the fact that the rocks are just kind of right on the trails, um, like little kids or something, which is great because like, we have little kids looking for them. So they found a whole bunch. We're going to have to rehide them obviously you can't keep them all um and then yes yeah, so our family started doing this whole rock hunting thing i haven't really gotten into it but the family really has so we even went to lowe's and bought a big bag of rocks and they did a whole bunch we took them the other day I hid like 13 i think and we found each kid found one so we let them each keep one the whole idea is like you find rocks it's like rock hunting so you find rocks and you hide rocks the idea is like you can only keep a couple. You're supposed to rehide most of them. You can keep some, like a little bit. So our kids found a rock each. We let them each keep one rock. So we're taking away, you know, two rocks from the park. But they dropped off. Like we had 13, but I don't. I think we didn't do all of them. So I think we dropped off like 11 or 12. So obviously we still were adding a significant amount, even though we took two. Um, so like they, they found like five or six already. I don't think they'll keep any of them. We'll probably put them all back unless they just insist on having one or something, but we'll probably put them all back. Oh yeah, she just hid one already. Where you just bent down and hit it? <laughs> so yeah, Judah did a really cool Batman and Iron Man one. He kept the Iron Man one. Oh yeah, there's a butterfly. Oliver is just, he, he hunts all the rocks. He doesn't care if they've been painted or not. And he also hunts the sticks. Huh, buddy? Say hi. So, hey. throwing up the deuce. All right. Hey. Oh, now he says hi. Oh, so yeah, we're doing a little, little rock honey. Look, they hid one, hid it back. You know, you can say they're pretty. The painting's pretty basic on them, so it looks like probably like little two look and three the, year olds probably did them. Two she found. I found that one the, too. And hit it. So uh, three, four, five. That. So you guys have found six so far, and you re-hid one. Yeah. That's an awesome butterfly. Huh, let me get that. What? No, no, no. I want to get it. Hold on. Oh, it moved away. I scared it with my. Giantness. No, Oliver found the rock! Oh, yay! Yeah, I know, I know, I know. Put it back. Put it back, Lily. Put it back. Um, so, yeah, something the family's been into. Kind of a fun thing to do before I fly out. Uh, Oliver smells like he's got a dirty diaper. Oliver smells like he has a dirty diaper. That's awesome. <laughs> spin, buddy, spin! Oh, yeah! So I'm about to take off. Hi. You guys gonna miss me? <laughs> Alright, we're gonna let's pray before I leave. Why where is your mother? I, I don't know. Hit me out of the video. Okay. We're gonna pray, alright? Sure, pray. sure. All right. oh, he's pulling my ear. Guys, guys, we're praying. Come on. Okay. Brandy? There's mommy. You're smashing me like that. You gonna pray? I'm not smashing you. Pray. Pray. I thought no. you were praying. Oh, you're cutting all of Okay, I'll pray. Out. Stop, everyone. Guys, you're not being serious. We're trying to pray. You're Lord, cutting all of her out. Okay, Lord, <gasps> we thank you for all the blessings and all the good blessings and everything you've done in our life. <clears throat> I pray for this trip, Father God. I pray for safety. I pray for speed that we're able, you know, to get through the flights and everything just fine. I pray for safety that nothing um, on the flights, the airport... Uh, in the air, w while we're there doing mission trip stuff, nothing, there's just no complications, there's no accidents, there's no anything crazy. You just keep your hands and your angels around us and keep us perfectly safe. 
Um, and let's have a good trip and get some good ministry done and, and more, uh, more, not more important, but like, um, help us to, the students to get off the phone, help the students to really get something out of this Lord God and have like a, a cool little, you know, spiritual breakthrough type thing, um, that so often happens with missions trips and this type of stuff. I pray in Jesus name. Can you pray for us? Oh, and pray for the family. Keep them safe while we're gone. Help no one to break in and murder them all. Mm -hmm. um, keep them, uh, help the kids to behave and not go crazy. And help the whole ride thing um, with Miss Alma feeding a family emergency. Help the whole ride thing work out and her to be able to, Brandy to still be able to have the kids gone for a couple hours a day to do her stuff at the church. And uh, keep Oliver from cracking his head open. And keep them all safe in a good time. Amen. All right, time to head to the airport. Um, I was originally going to walk, but when I originally decided to walk, I wasn't really thinking about having all these bags. It's really just a backpack and I'll carry on. So it's not too much, but still, it's something. But yeah, I'm not doing that because I can just get a lift. I don't know what I wasn't thinking. I was like, oh, I didn't want to bug anyone that I know. I have plenty of people I could have called. I could have had Tyree do it, I could have asked Linda to do it. She's always, you know, good for offering rides and help and all that. But I didn't want to bug anyone. So, I was going to walk, but I was a little concerned because it's kind of hard to get to the airport. It's like all these like roads and ramps. So I didn't know how I was actually going to manage walking there. And then I realized, oh, I'm so close to the airport. It'll literally be a four dollar minimum lift. So, but I don't want them to come to my house because I don't want someone knowing flying out and know my address, knowing that I'm not there. Because, well, after being married to my wife for 12 years and knowing her for like I don't know, 18, 19 years, she's made me a little, give me some of her paranoia. So I'm a little nervous that they'll come back and like murder my entire family or something or. Or whatnot so I didn't want to deal with that so I'm gonna walk down walk a block or two to the the Wawa and get a ride from Wawa so I'm gonna go and I'm going to uh, place my ride request I've never done this before I've gotten plenty as a driver never done this as a rider so see how this goes Now I gotta find the rest of my group. And I don't wanna wait here if they're already over there, but I don't wanna go get in line if I have their tickets and they're here. So let's see what I can go figure out. All right, they're already at the gate. So I guess it means they figured out how to get their own tickets. I printed these, and I guess this is a precautionary, but don't need them. So I'm gonna head now, go through all the security stuff. And uh, there's like no one here, so it shouldn't take very long. And hang out in the gate for a while. About to leave. Already packing, come with me. I'm not really asking. We'll get away to a place where we don't know. About to see the world in action, what we can be. Life with no distractions. We'll get away. This is what we waited for.
group left me. Oh no, this keep on. I was like, everyone left. They left. Okay, well, I think they left. Left me. I was about ready to be like, oh, my group left me. I'm all alone. But I got Kivon. You survived your first flight? Did it scare you when it was like bumpy? That was one of the more, like, that was the bumpiest landing I've ever had. I mean, this is only my third flight, which means I've done, what, like, six? There's probably, that would probably be probably my seventh, like, actual flight. Because, you know, the stopping and going. Sixth or seventh. But that was definitely the bumpiest. She was aboard at 9.50. So my hopes of eating dinner in Texas, I think, are probably going to be crushed. Oh, they're there. Over there. There they are. Oh, don't leave us. Why are they leaving us? That's messed up. It's like... That's cold. Like you don't ghost people when you're on a flight with them. Oh, we didn't see you. I, I'm like nine feet tall. What do you mean you didn't see me? Anyways, so my flight, I had plenty of leg room. Cause I had the, like I switched with that dude because he's like, you know, that whole, they acted like they were refugees. Like they weren't, they just were stuck in the airport all day, but they were acting like crazy. Like we just need safety. Anyways, I had plenty of leg room, but my seat didn't lay back. So my back is killing me. This is the same place Brandy and I ate on our way home to California two years ago. So I'm gonna eat here again. Um, what what comes on the barbecue sampler? Sample brada, three meat, no chicken, no ribs. Uh, it's so you pick three meats. Three meat, no chicken, no ribs. Okay. You have so. sliced the brisket, sharp brisket, sausage, robot, turkey. Okay. And then, uh, where, oh, pork, no, which one's the pork ribs? There they are, all right. Well, I'm gonna do the sampler, and I'll do pulled pork, brisket. Did you mention two kinds of brisket? Yeah. I'll do both briskets. You want a both brisket? I'm sorry? You want a two brisket, yes. one pork? Yes. Three side right there, sir. Uh, I don't have french fries, I don't have corn. This little airport flying tip. If you're ever laying over in Texas, wait to eat there. I don't care where you are in Texas, there's always going to be good barbecue. This is I had this place before, Salt Lick. It's pretty good. Got the meat sampler, trying to get us out for the first time in my life. It's going to be good. Let's do it. Yep, mine works. I gotta go get my chips. They were out of all the sides I wanted, so I just got a bunch of chips. And I decided to try their potato salad. Why not? So, not only are they out of most of them, so I had to get a bunch of chips. They hardly had any chips. I got two bags of harvest cheddar. They're so they're low. Ooh, fine. I'm glad to get the meat. I'm starting to get nervous when we're getting a little later. Like, are we not gonna get to eat? No. And then like, right as we were landing, the people in front of me opened a bag of like stinky chips. I think it was like Fritos or something. Ugh. Okay, so, oops, what, what is potato salad? It's like mayonnaise, potato. Oh, it's very cold. Is it cold? It's very cold. <coughs> it tastes like pickles. Or maybe that's mustard. It might be relish in there. A relish of that. It doesn't look like every potato salad, does it? Mmm. This is weird. I might be able to get to like it, though. It tastes a lot like pickles. Never had potato salad. 
I bet I could like this if I ate it enough. Are you excited? We'll be there! <laughs> At like what? What time did you say? 109. 1? 109, which for us is like 4 in the morning. It's so hot. And then we have to drive have back to the hotel, yeah, like hot, which I've heard is like 45 sweatshirt. minutes. So then it's going to be like getting in bed like around 6 or 7 in the morning for us. Not local time though. <laughs>